This is the 2018 fifth generation Ford Explorer. The Explorer is a three row mid size SUV and is one of the best selling SUVs in the US. This 2018 model has received a minor facelift. It has revised LED headlamps, redesigned fog lamps, a slightly different grille design. At the rear, the new Explorer has new quad exhaust tips. The 20 inch wheels have also been redesigned. Overall though, the changes are very minor. It is still offered with the same engine choices, a 2.3 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, which produces 280 horsepower, and a 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine, which produces 365 horsepower. The fifth generation Explorer is based on a unibody chassis, so it really is more like a large crossover. It has four wheel independent suspension, four wheel disc brakes, it is offered in either front wheel drive or four wheel drive variants. The design of the Explorer looks like it might have been inspired by the Range Rover. Curiously, the development of the fifth gen Explorer was led by Jim Holland, who was also a chief engineer at Land Rover. The Explorer has power foldable third row seats and a hands free tailgate. <clears throat> the interior looks premium at first glance, although, when you start touching things, you realize that there are plenty of hard plastic parts, which is a bit of a let down at this price point. This is the top of the line variant, and the entire dashboard is hard plastic. I remember being more impressed by the 3.2 liter Everest Titanium's interior, and that vehicle is almost a million pesos cheaper. The parts that you're most likely to touch are covered in soft touch materials though, like the armrests, the steering wheel, there's also this aluminum trim that runs along the dashboard and the door sidings, which give it a more expensive look. The vehicle has a leather wrapped steering wheel with buttons for the stereo, cruise control, voice, voice control. It has a six speed transmission. This is the knob for terrain management. It has two large cup holders. has a panoramic sunroof, leather seats with red stitching, uh, plenty of storage underneath the armrest. This is a, <clears throat> a wireless charging port for your phone. It's pretty spacious glove box, which is dampened. This is an auto dimming rear view mirror. Okay, the vehicle has uh, power adjustable seats. Uh, it has a foot brake instead of a hand brake. And at the second row seat now, I have adequate legroom here. Uh, there's a sunroof over here. Over here are two 12 volt outlets, I mean two USB ports, and one 110 volt outlet. And these are the echo controls. The Ford Explorer is a 7 seater mid size SUV but it doesn't directly compete with the most popular seven-seater SUVs here in the Philippines, like the Fortuner and the Montero. It's at a different price point, and most importantly, there is no diesel option, which is very important for local buyers. Its massive engine means that fuel economy is gonna be poor, approximately three to 3.5 kilometers per liter in city traffic for the 3.5 liter EcoBoost. 
Its ride height is also pretty low, so don't expect that this will be a capable off-road machine. Perhaps the main selling point of the Explorer are its looks. It does look like a Range Rover. It looks expensive, and it looks imposing from every angle. Also, it's comfortable. It's packed with plenty of gadgetry. It is designed with American bodies in mind, so the interior space is pretty generous. If you don't mind the atrocious fuel economy, and you can afford it, the Explorer might be a good choice for you. Or if you really want a luxury SUV, and your budget can stretch a bit further, you might want to consider a diesel Land Cruiser.